Hey guys, tcap 13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we caught two Zerka trees, and oh man, was that a was that one hell of a challenge right there? Those things are fucking sweeping machines. But anyway, uh, in this episode, we're here on Ula Ula Island, ready to go take on the fourth Ultra Beast. Whatever it may be. So let's go say. John, thank you for coming. Thank you once again for coming. I've been waiting for you, John. Once again, we've already gathered the intel on the UB that we are targeting. Mr. Nani provided us with everything that we needed to know. That UB has been sighted on this island is known by the code name Blaster. It is a fearsome beast that apparently possesses a fearsome energy that will burn anything. It's not a single sighting either. Of course it's not. Alright, UBO4, Blaster, Faller. Cannot afford any delays. Our protect populated areas as usual. John will go to the site. Mr. Looker, you will stand by. We will ask you to handle backup. <sighs> Are you alright, Chief? I think you're pushing yourself too far. If you would agree, I would be happy to go into the field myself this time and... I'm fine. I can still handle this. I have you to watch my back after all, don't I? Yes, ma'am. Then I'll be off now. John, I wish you fortune in battle. <laughs> Do not push yourself too hard, Chief. Please, be careful. John, these are for you. Your Pokeball is known as Beast Balls for this mission. First, the regular reports. Let's get them out of the way, my young friend. Madam Wick finished analyzing all the data that we gathered on the UB, the last UB you caught. If you wish to know more about the creature, you should speak with Madam Wick in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it is time to get to work. If you need anything, if you need to ask me anything, I am here. So let's see where this thing is. It seems to possess a fierce energy that will burn through anything at all. The settings were made in two locations, Haina Desert and Mali Garden. It seems highly likely that the creatures are on the move around Ula Ula Island. Okay, two specimens again. Find protect two individuals if you can. We're closest to the Heine Desert. Let's go there first. Oh, wait. I, I say that as I walk in the fucking opposite direction. Right, so let's save. Again, I'll just cut until I find it. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Defense Rose Sharplay. Okay, this thing is really cool. I actually don't know anything about this one. Except that I think that's a flying type. Go for a try attack. Oh, okay. Oh, you're flying steel. That's what this is. That's not doing much either. Let's just keep chipping away at it. Oh, that was a crit. Seed bomb. Hmm, interesting. 
interesting move. Okay. Let's try our Beast Ball. Alright, that's one. Let's see, what, what is this thing called? Celestela. One kind of Ultra Beast. Witnesses have seen it burn down a forest by expelling gas from its two arms. Again, I'll just hold off. Uh, send you to a box. One more to catch. Again, I'll cut until I meet it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, here we go. Once again, I switched locales to Mallet Garden. Alright, Celestila. Automize now, right? I I'm curious how much this is gonna do. I think this may have a pretty good defense that I would one shot it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright, Beast Ball, here we go. Alright, this one was nice and simple. And into the box. Alright, let's go report to Looker. Village. We're done here. I finished saying the data you... P yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, also known as UB Blaster. Okay. And we've all... We also have word from HQ. There's only one UB left for us to take care of. And we had our hands full with so many individuals for this last UB. It's rather it was a rather dangerous situation. You're all right. But you were alright, Chief? Yes, of course. Both me and my Pokemon were fine. Of course we were in some difficult situations, and being surrounded by the UBs and outflanked by them made it a rather touch and go for a while. As I'd feared. What is it, Mr. Looker? You've been acting rather odd for a while now, haven't you? Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Could it be... Could it be about a long-delayed feast? Oh! Yes! Yes, indeed! What a disaster you found me out! Truth is that I am starving. Just starving. How a Snorlax feels, I feel exactly now. <laughs> How hopeless you are, Mr. Lucker. But I suppose we have been putting it off for a rather long time. You must be hungry indeed. Then so allow me to take point, take point this time and find a delicious restaurant for us all. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. 
Thank you, ma'am. It's a bit embarrassing to admit, but I'm actually quite famished myself. See you stay here and relax while I go and find out a place to eat. Chief can't take much more of this. She must be exhausted. She acts particularly cheery when she's feeling unwell to hide her weakness from others. I know it may be a bit late for this, but there's something I'd like to tell you. It's something that happened about ten years ago now. I came to the Alola region as a part at that time as a part of a three-person team to eradicate a UB. Of course, we did not know them as UBs back then. Simply a dangerous creature. My team succeeded in chasing down the UB. Then we tried to put an end to it. But somebody screwed up. No, not new. Not new. This half-hearted fool felt sorry for the monster. Even if only for a moment. That moment was enough to get the third member of our team done in by the UB. Shit. This I cannot deny. I made an error of judgment. I failed to consider the fact that she was not trained for combat. She was just bait for the UB. And the International Police knew it. The UBs relentlessly seek out those who have passed through an ultra wormhole. The passage must change them somehow. As though they've been bathed in some energy. Something that the beasts can smell or sense. It is thought that the UBs can track such people as though sniffing them out. It's not like the monsters came here by choice. They don't want to be here. So they smell that familiar scent and think there'll be a wormhole. That they'll get home. Nanu, you called her bait. She really was, wasn't she? Faller. This is what the International Police calls them. Humans who appear from an ultra wormhole. And those who are bathed in a great deal of the energy that pours out from them. She had come through a wormhole. She was from another world. And she was put in our team to help draw the UB to us. And now you're repeating history. You've got Fala right here, haven't you? That's right, boy. I'm talking about you. Yes, it's true. He passed through an ultra wormhole. John was exposed to the energy, so he may indeed be a faller. But... I'm back. I'm sorry, young John. Let's continue this talk another time. I'm sorry, you two. Couldn't get a reservation at the restaurant. Seems like it's a very popular place. Hey, Missy. Mr. Nanu, I didn't realize you were here. Another one of those monsters appeared. This time on Pony Island. I'll tell you more when we get when you get there. We'll meet at the floating restaurant in Seafolk Village. This next one seems like a real tough opponent. Be sure you're ready for it. Oh, yes, of course we will. Thank you again, Mr. Nanu. Um, Mr. Looker? Is everything alright? Of course. It is fine. Not a problem at all. Then I will make way to the floating restaurant at Pony Island. Once you are ready... Uh, once you're ready, John, please do come and join us there. So it is on the pony next. I'll be counting on you, John. Let us meet again at the floating restaurant in Seafolk Village. Alright, so once again on that note, we're getting the episode off here. So next time, let's play Pokemon Moon. Oh, uh, we're gonna go and track down the final Ultra Beast. I'll see you guys then. Bye!